other minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. I'm on my way home from work with my two children, my Great Dane Zoe and my awesome little Corgi uh, Sammy. And today I kind of want to talk about, in my casual way, I want to talk about a piece of technology that I'm really loving right now. Uh, and that's the Zoom P4. Now I feel honestly like everyone's already talked about this recorder from head to toe. So there's not a lot for me to cover about it except what I like. Now I'll show it to you, I'll tell you how I keep it with me, I t I'll tell you how I use it from day to day because I'm a radio DJ. I, uh, I personally find that it is absolutely fabulous for podcasting exactly as you would hope and exactly as you would su suspect. Yes, there are some cons, but I found the one major con, let me just get this out of the way, one con that kept me from getting the P4 for a while was the fact that everyone was saying that the headphone uh, amplifiers that they had in the P4 were just not good enough quality. Uh, and that you hear this, hu this hum or buzz or something like that. Honestly, I picked it up for other purposes and I found that I didn't have that issue at all, at all, none. And so that got me really excited about it because that was the only con that I saw personally uh, that had me concerned. And once I made the investment, uh, I am very, 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 very thankful for this thing. The main reason why I purchased it is because I wanted to be able to have the ability to take phone calls for my podcast. Uh, that's the most important part to me. Now, yes, you do have Zoom. Yes, you do have Skype. Yes, you do have other alternatives. And yes, I did have my uh, Zoom H6 that I then plugged a million wires into and was able to get pretty good phone quality on. But I wanted a recorder that just did the job much smoother and that, and that could handle mix minuses perfectly. And not only... And not only did I find that, but I found a million extra benefits. The first day I got it, I decided I was gonna test it. I was at work and I wanted to go ahead and call a couple of my clients at work and record their ads for radio. Uh, so I was looking around to find the connectors that I needed and I didn't have any. But then I realized, hey, there's a type C plug on the side of this, can I plug my phone which has a type C into it and immediately be able to call people via the type C worked like a charm, like a charm fit like a glove. It was amazing. And the one other thing that I ordered was the, uh, BTA, uh, adapter or, or, or Bluetooth adapter. Oh, uh, Zoe's walking around a bit too much. So the Bluetooth adapter, uh, I picked that up for 50 bucks that came in a few days later. I hooked that up to my phone, and once again, absolute perfection. Perfection. I was able to easily link up my phone to the recorder and with no issue at all, handle the phone call like I didn't have to have a million wires. It was completely wireless. It was absolutely, hands down, fantastic. Now, what are the cons? Well, little tiny things. The LCD screen, or well, it's not an LCD screen, whatever the screen is on the recorder. Your face is in my way, sweetie. The face on the recorder doesn't stay on very long. Uh, I, I haven't found a way to change that yet, but it seems to turn on and turn off rather quickly. There might be a change in the settings. I haven't looked. Um, the other con that I've noticed is... Oh, what was the other con? Obviously, if I really cared that much, I would remember this pretty quickly. Um, okay, there we go. The other con is that all of the XLR ports are all specifically XLR ports. They're not XLR with an, with an integrated uh, quarter inch jack. I think that would have been absolutely fantastic if they had that integration. They don't. They're assuming that this is specifically for podcasting and that you're not gonna put any instruments in this. Um, oh. It only does 44-100. It doesn't do anything more than 44-100 hertz. Um, as a podcaster, I don't care. 44-100 uh, is perfectly fine for me. Um, if I can get more out of it, I would like that capability. But honestly, that's a small, a small cry. The recording capability of this recorder is amazing, fantastic. I had a freak out moment the other day because I recorded one of my videos 
uh, for my YouTube channel of one of my gameplays, and I used the recorder to do it. In doing that, I went and I looked back at the recording, and I pulled the file, I pulled it in, and realized that I had accidentally mixed the audio of my voice with the audio that I had plugged into it, which I think was either from the computer or my cell phone, or no, 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 it was a, it was a song, it was a song I was working on for YouTube. And so I had a mini freak out because I was going, no, I can't have this. This is not good. Uh, two hours of work just down the tubes because my voice was perfectly mixed. <laughs> So I had that many freak out and then I realized that uh, how this thing actually saved files separately. I knew that it saved individual tracks separately from each other, but I wasn't sure how that worked out in the file system. When I realized that it was all automatic and it already saved all the files completely separately from the, uh, from the source file and not only that, but it also made a quick file that I could quickly put, produce which has been helpful multiple times and like this morning alone um i was giddy 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 i loved it loved it loved it loved it now one thing that i'm hoping for is that i can put my own is this how you want to be are you comfortable you don't look comfortable there you go One thing I'm hoping is that I can learn to actually use the buttons on it, the pad buttons. I'm sorry, Zoe's face is right there next to you. <laughs> this is why we call this a casual vlog, right? <laughs> I honestly find the pad buttons that are on there a little unnecessary, where you can put your own files in and then press the button to trigger them. Yes, you can trigger your podcast intro and outro and stuff like that. I can see that better if I was traveling, but I do most of my stuff post-edit. Uh, so I don't see a humongous benefit of the pad yet. Um, and honestly, if I did want that capability, I would be interested in upgrading to the P8. Because if I was doing that to that extent, then yes, I would want a little bit more functionality right there off the bat. And the P8 looks like a, a, a perfect opportunity for that. P4 has four pad buttons on it. I can see myself putting an intro, an outro, maybe my main sponsor on the podcast uh, on there or something. But that's that's a very limited function that I don't find all that necessary. Now, one thing I did forget to bring up actually was the microphone headsets. I have a really nice microphone headset, full ear with a great big thing. It's made for play-by-play -play for sports. I love it, okay? I love it hands down. The only con is that it has a full quarter jack. It doesn't have 3.5 millimeter jacks. On the recorder that I have, the P4, those are all 3.5 millimeter. That is a little bit of a con for me, just slightly, uh, because then... I should probably get these kids fed. Most of the headsets that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, like, uh, like this one right here, this is the Audio-Technica. Uh, the BPHS1. I love this thing, but it plugs it plugs in. Assuming that you're going to use it with a uh, a, a specific um, recorder, most of the recorders that you would use would have quarter jack inputs for headphones instead of uh, 3.8 millimeter. So I had to down convert with a uh, with an adapter. Now that's fine because I'm trying to get one here. These adapters work perfectly fine but it's one extra thing to carry around. Today I left it at home, totally forgot about it. So I had to do some alternatives to using one of my nice broadcast headsets. That's the only con I see. I would almost wish that they would have left it quarter jack headphone inputs on there. And then you plug in smaller adapters to down adapt them to 3.5 millimeter. Now, if you are wondering, the P4 did not come with an extra case. So I keep mine right here in my backpack with three microphones and all the wiring and everything I need to do the job. So that works out great. I have an old Audio-Technica bag right here that safely keeps it in my bag and I have a specific pocket in my camera bag for it. And right there. Now people say it's plasticky. Well, it's honestly no more or less plastic than the H6 in my opinion. 
it's fairly sturdy in my opinion. I don't personally feel like it's going to break in my hands or... I love my dogs. I love my dogs. I personally, like I said, I don't feel like it's going to break in my hands. I feel like it's plenty sturdy. The knobs are nice and smooth. If you've owned the, uh, the H6, they have the same kind of smoothness to them. That works just fine for me. Everything's okay. I actually would have been totally okay if the dials were more recessed. Not by much, just a little bit. I can still have fairly good grip of them or make them so you can push them in and push them out uh, to, you know, spring in and out. That way you don't have everything out. I could lose a couple extra millimeters off of the whole size of this thing and I can make sure they're not being crushed or moved. Because with this kind of gear, when it works so incredibly well for me, I want to protect it. And I want to put it in cases and I want to do everything like that. Oh, the other con. The other con. I absolutely love this BTA2 adapter. I love this thing. I love this thing. I can't stand how much I love this thing. It works so well. Bluetooth, easy to the phone. I, I don't like Bluetooth connections. I don't like Wi-Fi connections. And this thing does a really fabulous job. Um, I recorded an ad today that's already running on the radio that was recorded through this. And no one complained of, oh, there's latency on the phone, like you might have on Zoom or on other phone calls or buzzing or anything. It just sounded great. So if you get this, great. But the problem is its shape is very, very awkward. If you take a look here, you can see that it's got this bracket sort of thing here, and you plug in these two plugs, uh, and I forget what size that is, but you, ugh, hiccups in the middle of my videos. Why do I always have hiccups in the middle of my videos? Um, those two plug into the side of the zoom right here, and you'll see that it sticks up and it's a little awkward with its placement. It, it looks like it's not set in there properly, but it is. Uh, and like I said, works great. And honestly, if you plug it into a P8 and you see images of this plugged into a P8, it's nice and flat, looks good. Problem is if you can't keep it permanently plugged into something like a P8, right there, now you have to store this in uh, such a way where you gotta make sure it's not going to break. Because I can't store this in any pocket or anything because I'd be afraid to bend something. So I cut down the box it came in and I keep it in its box like that. And then I cut down, that's the original uh, box housing that it came with. And it's cheap plastic. I mean, like, that's the cheap plastic on the inside. If it were me, um, and if I had time, I would design a 3D printed housing specifically for this to kind of protect it a little bit more. Uh, 3D print does great. It wouldn't take up a lot of extra space. I would do that if I had time and I just don't. Um, but if you do get that, just keep that in mind. You might want to refurbish or <laughs> refurbish. Huh. Might want to reuse the box. My one dog's killing my other dog. It's actually perfectly fine. Uh, Sammy likes to whine a lot when she plays, and I'm not kidding. I'm keeping this simple, guys. Uh, I don't really have much more to tell you other than this thing has really, really pleased me. I do not hear buzzing like everyone else does. And if I do hear buzzing, all I do is I turn down all of my gains on the stuff I'm not using. And I might switch my uh, fourth microphone into USB mode and my third microphone into phone mode. And honestly, I hear nothing. And I just make sure all of my... Uh, all of my amps are down except for what I'm using and I don't have any issues at all. So that's just me. I don't know if I've used it to the full capability and not gotten to the point that other people are hearing that buzzing, but for what I need it for, this thing is the bomb. It's great. I'm going to leave it at that. No audio tests unless you want them. If you do, leave comments down below and I can do some real world tests where I can actually uh, record some of the ads that I utilize and things like that, that I actually do at work. And I can show you how those ads sound or something like that, but I'm not, there's tons and tons and tons of videos on YouTube with full detail of everything you need to know. So I'm not gonna waste your time there. My real world opinion of this recorder, this PodTrack P4, is that if you can get it for 200 bucks, get it. I think its full price is 220 It used to be 200 but they've raised the price on it, which is interesting. If you can get it for under 200 get it. 
it hasn't let me down and I'm honestly very impressed by it. So. Wait for me! <laughs> Don't kill me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so big! Oh, you're so small! I'll protect you! Okay, no, wait, protect me. Ouch! <laughs> 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 <laughs>